infer and search back. This podcast, number 89, is at the advanced level. It requires a working knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. This podcast covers the last of Accordance's linking search commands, infer, along with a related function called search back. Both are designed to explore intertextuality, which is the relationship between different pieces of literature. The Bible, for instance, was written and edited by a host of people over a period of more than a thousand years. Many of its authors quoted or alluded to earlier pieces of writing, as did the authors that would follow them. Infer and search back are powerful ways to investigate these kinds of interrelationships. Infer. The infer command is the best way to find quotes, allusions, and inferences between any two texts in the same language. Its parameters are adjustable, and it automatically ignores phrases with 50% or more common words. This workspace has two zones. On the left is the ESV, in which I've already searched for the book of Genesis. On the right is another instance of the ESV. In this case, I've restricted the range to Revelation. Now, we're ready to initiate an infer search. I can do so using the search menu, or control click in the search entry box, or simply by typing command shift I. Whichever one we choose, this pop-up dialog box appears. It allows us to select our source text, to specify the length of the phrases, and choose whether we'd like the search to be based on words or key numbers. In grammatically tagged original language texts, searches can be based on either inflected words or lemmas. Advanced settings increases the number of user-definable options, how many source words can be dropped or destination words added, and whether or not to ignore word order. With all of these options, infer is easily Accordance's most customizable command. What do the results look like? The matching words of each phrase found in Revelation are highlighted, making finding literary allusions much easier. Now, suppose we want to find the original context of a matching phrase. How do we do that? Enter Accordance Search Back. Search Back. Search back is a way of quickly finding the location of a quote, allusion, or inference in the linked source text. Select a word or a phrase to locate each individually, or a verse reference to locate all the hits in that verse all at once. Here's how it works in practice. We select a word or phrase, then control click and select the search back link text. A duplicate source text tab appears with a phrase identified and located. Here's another example. I've used infer to search for phrases from Genesis in the book of Isaiah. There are some extended quotes, like this one. Now, I could find its source using the regular search back, but what if I wanted to search for this illusion? It's not an exact quote, and the fact that one of the words in the phrase isn't highlighted means that a regular search back just won't work. Fortunately, SearchBack also has a fuzzy search option. Here's how to use it. We select the entire phrase, then use Control click to access the contextual menu. Now, before we go any further, here's the difference. We press the Shift key. That invokes the fuzzy search command. Now we can select SearchBack, and here's the source of that illusion. By the way, I decreased the letting on this particular pane so that we can see two of the six sources of this illusion at once. It turns out that eating the good fruit of the land is a regular consequence of obedience to God in Genesis, while being denied it, or even eating dust, is a source of disobedience. Isaiah is drawing on this tradition in his prophecy in chapter 1. Looking into intertextuality, Accordances infer command and search back feature make it easy. I hope this podcast will encourage you to use them to look for quotes, allusions, and inferences in your own Bible study. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Mm-hmm.